we're almost done with January. I need to, I need to girl boss. Hmm. That snuck up. But we're gearing up for another weekend in my life situation. This week has been just like the longest week of my life. Just like so dragged out. Jack is still on crutches. So we've just been spending a lot of time at home. I know I can go out and do shit by myself, but like, I don't know. Like I want to like hang out with him and like take care of him. I'm so annoying and in love. But I have kind of a busy work day today, like work work, not like social media work. So I shot a sponsored campaign for my Instagram. I don't know what these brands are thinking working with me on Instagram. I have like two followers, but like I do stay in my bag. It was like a morning routine situation. And if I'm filming something and then I say it's a morning routine, I am dead ass filming it in the morning, like having rolled out of bed. They had a little bit of feedback, which is totally fine. Not reshoot the whole thing, but put like a few little clips in there. And I like really overthought yesterday. I'm like, oh, like I slept in braids in my initial video. I need to like sleep in braids again. I had so much self tanner on in the initial video. So I was like slapping on self tanner like a mad woman last night. Like I want it all to look seamless and normal. <laughs> Doing content is so embarrassing. When you really, when you really boil it down, it's so embarrassing. But I'm gonna go um, to film a few clips to insert back into that video. And you will see it on Instagram. But yeah, that's the day. And then tonight, Crown Affair, the hair care brand is having their third birthday party. So I'm stopping by them. I think it's just me really casual. It's at their office. Some drinks, some hair goodies, like just meeting some people I've never met. The founder, Diana, Diana, I think it's Diana, it has to be Diana, um, is gonna be there and she's so cool. I really look up to her, so I'm excited to meet her. And then it's perfect because right after that, my friend Josie is hosting a vision boarding party. We are almost done with January, but it's never too late. It's never too late to set those intentions, babe. She's taking this shit so seriously. She sent around these forms to complete ahead of time about like, our intentions, our work. Candidly, I don't think I'm gonna get to the worksheets ahead of time, but I'm really excited just to have like a chill wine night, cutting shit out of magazines and just like being extra girly, I love that. I'm gonna do like a 10 minute speed clean of the apartment and then I'm gonna post up for work. I got a coffee at Devotion this morning. It was good. It didn't change me. I'm, like I'm not like a fancy coffee girl. I feel like I just like, Shitty cold brew and creamer. We will be reusing the cup though. I love when you get a coffee cup and you just like use it to fill. Cause I mean, you might as well. And also coffee tastes better out of a to-go cup. La Cologne cold brew is just delete. And then I have this Nut Pods hazelnut creamer. It's very hazelnutty. It's like, like that fake Starbucks kind of flavor. What is the sweetener in this? Natural flavors. I thought it was stevia, honestly. I used to be a person who read like every ingredient on everything when I was shopping. Not in like a, a cute way, in like an orthorexic way where I was like crazy. Now I feel like I've swung the other pendulum where I'm like literally just throw anything in the cart. Like fuck it, I'm young, but I need to find like a happy medium about like caring what I put into my body while not being disordered. I feel like my generation really gets the brunt of that. We were raised in the 90s where like everything was 100 calorie pack and like low fat, et cetera. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to live. And like, don't get me wrong. I would rather drink the coffee creamer with natural flavors than like spend 40 minutes in the grocery store looking at 90 different creamers, like weighing like crazy math in my head, which one is best. I think a lot of people feel this way where like they used to be really restrictive, but that information in your brain really never goes away. I know I'm not alone. Slapping oatmeal into the bowl, like, will never fail to make me feel like the lunch lady or the chef at my sorority house in college. There's just something about the texture and like the of it all. Just showered off that self tanner. It was, it was looking Okay, but it was also giving like clementine tangerine or <laughs> for body self tanner lately i've been using the coco and eve in medium why is medium their lightest shade it's medium dark ultra dark shouldn't there be a light version who does medium without small but easy jack does it he does a great job on my back the skincare ads so i'm not going to do any makeup obviously um i'm just going to do a little bit of moisturizer to look alive and then i'll be using the product on camera let's let's do it Reshoot, done. It really, I really didn't have to re end up reshooting that much. So hopefully they like it and hopefully they approve and you'll see it 
Stay on the gram next week. I think I'm gonna step out and get Josie, the one who's hosting the vision board night, a little hosting gift. I think she'd love that. She's really big on like manifestation, so maybe something like some kind of journal. I don't know. There's a cute, there's a cute place around the corner. Jack didn't want to come. Totally fine. But he ate our leftover pasta and our leftover sushi last night. And normally I'm not one for leftover sushi, but it was California roll. And California roll is totally fine to have next day. I'm sick right now. Jack's finally walking again after his, after the accident. The <laughs> things, accident. things just haven't been the same. What we got? Yeah. What are we working with? Unboxing tonight. First, I went to this place called Souvenir in Greenpoint just to get like a hostess gift for Josie. And you know, gotta get something for me too. <laughs> I wanted to get her like daily affirmation cards. Have you ever seen those? It gives you like yes. an affirmation of yes. the day. I am strong. But they didn't have that. <laughs> So she really likes journaling, so I got her this little sticker book. How fun is that? Like, she can add little stickers to her journal entries. And then for myself, I got a daily calendar, like it's for me to write some notes to myself. Odds are this will never get open. <laughs> <laughs> the face you made was when? like, mm, that's aspirational. I don't um, know. I. <laughs> I hope it doesn't get open because then the. Papers would be all over the apartment. No, I used to be the kind of person that would buy a planner every year and then I realized I'm just not a planner girl, but I think it is helpful just to like, if there is something God willing, I want to fucking write it down. I can do that. So cute and they're such good jewelry. I came really close to getting a pair of earrings and then I was like, rain it in girl. Add it up, I'm gone. I got you the side of fried chicken for maker and then I got jealous, then I got the fried chicken sandwich. So I think. <laughs> I thought we were sharing. I know. She's <laughs> lying to you all. She said, we'll share. <laughs> To the couch. The sandwich and just the plain fried chicken. Oh my, it looks so good. It's really funny because Harry wanted to get dinner tonight. You wanted to get Japanese fried chicken from that place? You wanted to get Korean wings. I was like, I don't want fried chicken tonight. <laughs> Jack's cousin is going to come over tonight while I go to the Crown Affair party. And then, um, what am I doing tonight? Vision boarding. <laughs> Where did you get such a crunch from? I got all fried, no chicken. Here we go. You got the lucky one. Mmm, that's so good. We got fried chicken, a little, little veggie slaw. I, f I feel like Guy Fieri. Kind of sweet, the bread. Which I kind of like, actually. I don't know what kind of food is gonna be a crown affair. <clears throat> and I don't wanna roll up to this thing like rav, you know? My dumb ass. I thought the crown affair event started at six. It started at five. It's 5.15, I'm just gonna pop in an Uber now. You know, no one no one gets to these events on time anyway. Right. I'm ready for that. I've been so fucking lazy. Self-care. I'm graduating, taking the bar this year. But I Woo! That was such a lovely night. I was like really rushed heading out there, but honestly, with those kind of events, it was five to seven. So we were kind of flowing in and out, and it was really casual. But everyone at the Crown Affair event was so nice. Some brands just do a really good job of bringing like good people in. I just got such great energy from everyone there. That Calorie Primer makes my skin feel like a baby's ass. It is so good. And it makes your makeup lay so smoothly. I'm gonna go pretty light today because not to get cocky, but good skin day. <laughs> and also after the crown event, 
I went to Josie's for vision boarding. That was the most wholesome, fun, like crafty thing I've done in so long. I just love doing shit with my hands. And I don't do things with my hands enough these days. Like I'm always typing rather than zhuzhing. Everyone took it really seriously. I feel like if you're gonna do something like that, everyone really just needs to be all in. And thankfully everyone was. I need to find a place to hang my vision board though. I would want, I would want to hang it in the bathroom. Here, I'll show it to you. Ta -da! <laughs> I would want to hang it in the bathroom because I feel like this is the place that I spend the most time alone. If you like put like paper things in the bathroom, they get kind of gross and I'm not gonna frame it. I could frame it, but that'd be so extra. I would love if it could just be like right here. I drank a little wine last night, but like by no means was it a drinking evening. I feel like these days I don't want to like go out out more than one night a weekend. Unless it's a special occasion, I'm visiting somewhere, I have friends in town, etc. But like my good baseline is going out one night a weekend. I just use the Westman Atelier Complexion Drops in shade 2. They are just divine. They blend so easily into the skin, give you such a good glow and I mean pretty good coverage for how little product I use, but also like let's not deny that I'm having a better skin day than yesterday. I look like a different person. I don't have any concrete day plans, which is so nice. Me and Jack are just gonna like spend some intentional time together rather than just like existing beside one another, which is very easy to do when you live together, especially like he's been injured. So we like haven't really been able to like go out on dates. His leg is feeling a lot better. He can like walk on it a little bit more. We're gonna go to the farmer's market. We're gonna get some coffee, just like, have a slow fucking day. A little after 10 now, we slept in, but hopefully the pickle people are still there. And I wanna get um, some baked goods from Need Love Bakery, they have the best stuff. It's embarrassing how much my skin affects my mood. I feel like every day I look in the mirror, assess, and then like decide how my day is going to be. It's almost like, if you've ever been in like the spiral of like weighing yourself, how you like weigh yourself in the morning, and that's how you decide your day is gonna be. Like, I feel like that's like kind of the situation I've been in with my skin. Like my skin's looking really good today. So I like can feel I'm having like a good day on the horizon. I'm trying to like break out of that mindset and have it like not set the tone for my day. Like I set the tone for my day, not like my acne. A little bit of mascara. This one is from Tower 28. I stand by that this is the mas best mascara in the game. I used to be so die hard for Thrive Cosmetics, but like, come on. Like that's like, it's crazy. Life cycle of our drawers. We put these on the street, like we stooped them. When we first moved in, we're walking out of the building. I see our neighbor bringing these out and I was like, I think those are my drawers. Here they are, back the again ones. on the streets. Did we order those? No, I had them from my last place. Circle of life, <laughs> and it moves us all. Going to- you. <laughs> I'm the talent. We're going to the Greenpoint Farmer's Market and if you'll notice, Jack is walking. We're a little late. I feel like the good stuff kind of gets scooped up in the morning, but I'm just hoping that the pe the pickle people are still there. Rice, salt, mustard leaf, chili pepper, sesame. There are like vegetables, but yeah. it doesn't say. It's called the pickled Takana. A little rice ball from this Asian market. Stunning. So it's to be kind of spicy. Mm. <laughs> oh, she went right for the seaweed. Mm -hmm. Oh, go love. <laughs> mm -mm. Like the perfect bite, you know? Mm-hmm. There's more veggie than I thought there would be. Yeah, because I wasn't starving yet, but I wanted to eat something. It's like perfect. The amount of babies and dogs in Brooklyn, it is a prerequisite to live here. They're about to kick us out, rent is due. If we don't show proof of puppy. Proof of pup or proof of bebe. Like for baby, comment for dog. Comment, please comment. We picked up focaccia from the farmer's market from Need Love Bakery. It's like, she, it's a really great gluten-free bakery. And then we got Italian sandwiches in our head. So we went on like a, like a goose chase to all the Italian delis. We ended up getting prosciutto, arugula, it's gonna be. At Emily's pork store. Everyone in there was speaking Italian. It was great.
<laughs> this little grandma was trying to talk to Caroline. So much dementia in the air. <laughs> She's so sweet. And she was just as chatty as me, they but were, we couldn't. She was speaking Italian to Caroline, and Caroline was reciprocating in English, and it was, they were having a full-on conversation. <laughs> that's, that's my evil twin. She is a stunner. I did the vegan pesto from Trader Joe's, an eggplant from the Italian market, prosciutto, arugula, Back in the bathroom, where else would I be? But I'm doing a little organization. I just got these new drawers for the bathroom for my beauty and such. And I got these little organizers from Amazon. What's great is they're not connected. So you can like customize it to the size of your drawers, which is great. Even so, like I still have a little bit of work to do. This was my, <laughs> this was the setup that I had going before and it was just overwhelming to be honest it just like it didn't look right goal is to clear these out and get rid of anything that i'm not actively using and then these last two drawers are empty so i'm gonna get those filled up still have a little more work to do but this crate is clear and that was the main goals i'm gonna put it outside guarantee it will be gone by the time i leave the house like in an hour and a half. It's about 5.15 now, and I'm about to touch up my makeup, get changed, and meet Stephanie and Heather for a drink. I met them both through TikTok. I actually met Heather for the first time at Crown Affair last night, which is so odd to think. It's like, that's the thing about parasocial relationships. Okay, someone like Heather, who I followed for like six months. I, when you think about the amount of times that I see her a day, I feel like I know her but I don't know her. But she also knows a lot about me. It's just like, it's funny. So like when you do ultimately meet these people, it doesn't feel like I've never met her. It's just like, I don't know. It's very easy to build a deep relationship with someone that you know so much about already. Like you'd be shocked how normal it is. It's like almost like meeting, it's, it's like meeting a significant other online. Like it's just like very normalized. For once I'm actually gonna ride this makeup, I'm just gonna do a little touch up and then We'll figure out the fit. A little late, but not the latest we've ever been. Between like makeup and changing an outfit, I'll always choose makeup for sake of time. It's fine. That was a work of art. I just like, I feel like I've known them forever. And it's so sick, like obviously I have it. It's just like some people that you, you genuinely click with. And it's perfect because I'm in East Village. I'm going to meet uh, my best friend Sophia, who you guys know already, and our friend Lauda. She, okay, I know it's Lauda, but <laughs> Sophia was calling her Laura on a FaceTime today, so we'll see what it is. I'm meeting them at Maiden Lane, which is just like, like a dive bar in East Village that I feel like I always end up there when I'm waiting to go somewhere else. Like I met for drinks and I was, I was hoping that we would get a meal, but I just don't know that they have food at Maiden Lane. TBD. Confirm that it's Lauda and yeah, Sophia was just gaslighting me. I respect your culture and her name is Lauda. <laughs> it but, is. But, there was just like so much that Laura sounded right. Yeah. And we've been friends for a long time. We have. So I feel okay about it's it. Similar but different that you call me Carrie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly the same. I feel like most exactly things start as a joke and then they're not a joke anymore. Yeah, and then all of a sudden. But it's funny, like, like okay. context. Yeah. So Lauda just moved here and we were friends in college. Welcome to yeah. New York. Moved <laughs> here and I've been introducing her to so many people. Yes. Like all of my friends that she's met before are new people. And I keep introducing her as Laura. No, it's so misinformed. But that's <laughs> yeah. not her name. I no. do go by Laura at work, but like, oh, is she do you? Not, not, not at night. But like, How Laura funny. is beautiful. It is beautiful. Thank you, but like people, like, like people physically cannot like say it or read it. It's so, and it's so that, like, Laura. My last watch out, watch job. out, watch out, you're oh, gonna die. Laura. You're gonna get a hit. Laura! My last job, I went by Laura, and then people got so confused that they saw Laura, and people just didn't address me. Like, oh. I, I, I did not Life update. Mom. If you remember from nine oh, vlogs ago, God. Sophia's holiday gift. I love it. I, I feel hear. like you can't even see it's, it's dark. I think the vlog went live before I got the gift. Yeah. So, I didn't know it was coming. <laughs> yes, and also, like, I texted her being like, I'm watching you go to Bagu. Like, yeah, to I'm buy her <laughs> holiday gift. Another hard launch is I also hard launched Sophia's relationship online. I just didn't know that it wasn't public. It's not that it wasn't public, but like, you really like got granular with who I was. Yeah. And, like who I like everything I was doing. I think that no one we know 
watches yeah, but this. There's 300 people out there that are. No, <laughs> 301. Now. Oh, it's 345 these days, oh, babe. There's 345 yeah. people that are. We're growing and showing. But Sophia and Laura love them. <laughs> they are. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, because I took Italian. Oh, that's so you guys. Go get some food. They they already ate. Hmm. <laughs> sick. But we're gonna go find some kind of. I just want a fry. Yeah. One. A fry with the beverage. One. So that's what we're in pursuit of. Ciao. If you think you would vibe with someone on social media, please DM them. It's not weird. And the worst that can happen is they leave you on red. God forbid. But like, more often than not, people want to make friends too. So much fun to be with Heather and Steph. And we were also with Mandy, um, who's old loser in Brooklyn on TikTok. She is so good, so funny and witty. We went to Bar Lula first, which used to be used to be the Wild Sun in the East Village, and they rebranded. It's really cute in there. It's just like super dim. I love a dim restaurant. I just like give me give me the filter, you know. And then we ended up at Bua, which was really good, but we were we were outdoor dining. There were some people on the street who were clearly just like not in their right mind, and you you don't want to be a Karen and be like mm -hmm, to the manager, but at the same time, like I don't know, like. It's scary. Everyone's going through it. It's so, like you don't want to be the worst. It's just like it's an awkward position for everyone. And ended the night with Sophia and Laura, which was so nice. We ended up we ended up at this restaurant. What was it called? It's a Korean restaurant right next to Pineapple Club. It was called Nawan Fire. We went there really late night. I have to say they weren't so like accommodating of my allergies, but the food was really good. Everyone's fine. No reactions. We're good. I think this is gonna be my longest vlog yet. So thank you so much for joining me. I love doing this. Thank you so much to everyone who subscribes. If you haven't yet, just throw me a bone, okay? It costs you nothing, and I really appreciate it. Okay, love you guys. Have a good week.